Okay, this is the GPS simulator running. Deliberately wobbly course here, sending GPS data to the pickaxe computer instead of a real GPS, which then the computer is running the actual software to be used, including moving the servo and also driving text to speech here. So we can actually hear things like the calculated direction to the destination that's currently selected and which way it's steering, in other words left or right and how many degrees. So it's saying 249 degrees it wants to go to get out from here and steer to the right. Now 186, these directions are on this crib sheet here, 186. Left 58, come down onto that waypoint out here in the channel. Right, 171 right means practically the opposite direction. Left 54 to go towards that waypoint. There's a slight lag from when it sends the data to the pickaxe and where the track has got to. Right, it's now going on to the next waypoint. So 250 degrees, 270 would be due west, so 250 is down here, degrees, and it's in right fact seven. Prawl Point here. So the main thing we're watching is that at any point at all, it should be calculating the correct direction, that first number of degrees, to the next waypoint. Right, so now it should be on its way to the lizard here. That's right, it's gone past the lizard, so it's now heading for the micro transat. So right 11 means 11 degrees out, so it's very close. So this is the micro transat start point, which is seven and a half degrees west. So 264 degrees is down towards the Azores, between the Azores and Madeira, because it's got west at the start line, so it's the next waypoint now, is between the Azores and Madeira. its next waypoint. Right, should be on to the next waypoint now. Which should be the microtransit finish line. So it's this one. Two 